welcome to Fountain FX on Friday the 4th of April 2014. We are looking at the Euro US dollar on the 5 minute chart and we're looking at what happened yesterday. On the left we've got the European Open at 9 o'clock in the morning and on the right we have the US Open, the New York Open, around about 2, 2.30 in the afternoon. And what we want to show you is that basically yesterday was not a typical day. So you'll get them every now and then, and that was the day yesterday was. A lot of traders will take certain days when there's a lot of news coming out and just not bother trading it, depending on their style, especially swing traders. They will, they will avoid that market. Um, but we can look here and we can see that there was no clear activity in the morning. Um, I did zoom into this on a smaller time frame and look at the fact that this was a potential head and shoulders reversal pattern, but nothing really came of it. Prices went sideways. So that was called close my trade for no real profit or loss. Um, at this point, just before the news market started to push down, which was what was expected back here, but it was like delayed by several hours. And then the news came out and we had all this whipping up and down. The only way to really have taken a trade from this would have been potentially run your trend line and look for a break in the trend line if we were looking to short, which happened here. So confirmation was to sell around about the 137.60, just below there, maybe 137.55 on this candlestick, and take it as it falls there. Um, that was really the only opportunity yesterday. If we then scroll through to look at what happened overnight, as we can see, within only an hour of this move after the news, price just went flat. So it's almost like the trading day finished at 3.30. And... Prices move sideways. The Asian session seems to start earlier. And the reason is, is that everybody's waiting for non-farm payrolls data to come out at 2.30 this afternoon. So to be honest, there's not really a lot of activity at the moment. I wouldn't really be looking to trade this morning. I would wait until after 2.30 this afternoon and take a look at it. If you're able to look at your trade platforms or anything like that, then take a look at 2 o'clock this afternoon. Otherwise, I would say... Ignore the, ignore the market, look at it this evening, and actually take a day off and go and look at trading from Monday. Um, that's just how significant non-farm payrolls is at the beginning of the month. Uh, it sets a, a precedent for what happens for the rest of the month. Uh, we can see over the Asian session there was actually a double top up here around about the 137.20. Price has continued to push down very, very slowly down to the 137 mark. If we go into a higher time frame, you can just see that a bit more clearly. But you can actually see that the price is pretty much flat, has been since 2 o'clock yesterday, 3 o'clock yesterday, sorry. So that's been like that for a good, um, what, 18 hours, something like that. So very, very long, waiting for the same time period today to see what's going to happen and whether or not price is going to react. You may get some movement this morning in the European Open, but that's just going to be traders trying to play and dabble. Everyone's waiting for the non-farm payrolls data to come out. So that's it from Fountain FX. Happy trading. Take a look at what happens with the non-farm uh, payrolls data, and we will talk to you on Monday.